You know, color management is an area that's a deep mystery to a lot of users. How do you get the color to match from the original subject to the screen to your printer? I'm here with Will Holland from X-Rite, and he's going to explain a little bit about color management to us, and in particular how their I-1 spectrophotometer works. Will, what can you tell us about color management in general and, and lead us into what the, X, what the I-1 does? So the, the real challenge of color management is trying to get all of your color to match from input to display to final output, and that involves in essence, creating profiles for all the devices in our workflow. We need to create a profile for our input devices, our capture devices like scanners, our display devices like monitors, and our output devices like our printers and even, even lab machines. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where the real mystery comes in for people. I think a lot of folks have calibrators for their screens, yep. but how do you go about calibrating a printer? What's involved there? Well, really, to get a good printer profile, you need advice like a spectrophotometer. This is, uh, this is the X-Rite uh, I-1 spectrophotometer, and what's unique about this device, it has the ability to measure the response of a color across the entire spectral range. So it, it, it sees the same way that human beings see color. It sees color the way that color exists in reality. Oh, so rather like a, um, a colorimeter on your screen for screen profiling, that's just saying uh, that blue is 30% uh, bright, but it's not saying what color blue that is. And this is actually telling us what's the color, right? Exactly. This is, this is the reality of, of color. That's what a spectrophotometer does. And it, you, can, you can use this as a device to measure single patches of color and output. Like this is an output target that we have. You can use a device like this ruler to measure uh, measure rows of colors, and you'll notice that we need we need a pretty good selection of color in order to to be able to get a good output profile. So this can be this can be pretty cumbersome if you if you need to do a large quantity of profiles. And and it takes a it it looks like it takes a lot of swatches to get the um, a really accurate profile. Well, it does, and this is actually just a moderately accurate profile. If you want a really accurate profile, you need to read an even greater selection of colors. And that's where a device like this I1 IO comes in handy. It's an automated chart reader designed specifically for for photo professionals. Okay, once the device is calibrated, I actually have to define the three corner patches on the on the test shot. So I simply take the I1, move the I1 with the visor to the center of the first patch. I hit the I1 button. I go to the center of the of the second patch, and I actually go to the center of the third patch. Once this is done. The dimension is defined. I just hit the start button in the application in order to start the, the measurement process. As you can see here, the I.O. is actually going pretty fast. We are measuring 400 patches per minute with the I1, uh, with, with the I1 in the I.O. So in total, we end up uh, for almost two and a half hours for this specific TC918 target. Wow, 400 patches a minute. So actually, it doesn't have to stop on each one. While it's moving across the, fr the page, it's measuring all those patches on the fly. Right, we are actually doing here scan measurements, so we actually, you know, we turn on the bulb at the beginning of the row and uh, we turn it off at the end of the row, actually. That's how the, the scanning process with the I1 works. Okay, and so we can see as it scans across the target, it's, um, it's, it's putting the image up on the screen showing what it's scanned already. Right, you get the instant feedback on the screen, you know, so that you know actually on which row the, uh, the I1 is. So earlier when I was speaking with Will, we talked about using a colorimeter for screen calibration, but actually this I1 Spectro will do an even better job calibrating your screen, so you can do the whole thing with one device, right? Right, I mean, that's the, the unique feature, you know, having this, this I1 is that you can, besides the output profiling, you know, can also do the monitor prof profiling part with this device. Great, so let's take a look at it on a, doing a typical calibration on a monitor. Good, the first thing that I have to select here in this application called I1 Match is the pro monitor profiling part. After that, I mean, as you can see here, the Iowa Match uh, is able to profile and calibrate LCDs, CRTs, and laptop screens. So in this particular case, I simply select the LCD. The next thing is that I actually set up the calibration settings, which involves, you know, white point adjustment, gamma adjustment, and luminance adjustment, if I want. I've selected 6,500 as a white point, a gamma of 2.2, and a, luminance, a target luminance level of 120 uh, candelas per square meter. The next thing step is that I calibrate the device on its in, on its white tile, and then the actually the software prompts me to put the device on the screen. I can put the device anywhere on the screen. We will actually try to find the device automatically on the screen, so that you do not have, you know that it's much more convenient for the, for the customer. Uh, uh, yeah, to do to do the measurement process here. 
Well, it's nice. Yeah, I saw you could manage to position it to avoid the on-screen menu. That's that's a problem sometimes. Right. I mean, you know, usually the, those on-screen menus are, first of all, always different, and uh, not a lot, not, not all the people do really know how to adjust or to actually change, as you said, the position of the on-screen display. So here, you can position it. If you know where the on-screen display is, you can position the i1 uh, to the right or left-hand side of the on-screen display so that you can take the measurements then. So now it's measuring the different color patches, and in just a couple of minutes, we'll have a profile for our display. It'll be calibrated. Well, that's great. Well, thanks, Mario. Great demo. Take care.